So today's video is like 10 skills that aren't carpentry that make you a better carpenter. Title of the video. Um, so I'll break it up into like five skills that are like with your hands and then sort of five skills that are more, you're probably still gonna use your hands but it's a lot more brain work in a sense. You'll see what I mean when I explain it. Um, so yeah, let's go. Alright, number one skill. Uh, number one skill on our little list would be welding. Um, I'm not saying be a welder. I'm not saying be the world's greatest. Just be able to like specifically stick because they're like the cheapest, not the easiest, but generally the most accessible and most used on site. Um, if you can pick that up and just like stick two pieces of metal together no matter how ugly without just like blowing it out completely um, you'll find that's worth its weight in gold um, definitely recommend being able to weld most of my welding experience is with MIG welding um, I'm gonna teach myself to TIG eventually um, but yeah being able to MIG and arc weld have been fucking really handy for me um, I'll put up a couple of photos. I built the tray on my ute for a while there before I swapped it out to one to a ute tray that had sides because I couldn't be fucked building them. Um, but yeah, even like just cleats and shit when you're on site, if the steel guy's not there um, and you've got a welder with you, just being able to tack them up and keep going, um, really useful. Number two would be being able to operate an excavator. Um, I say specifically an excavator, it's been most, it's the machine I've been most exposed to. Um, so like going off my own experience, it's probably the one to learn. Um, if you're in Australia, look into like, so I did, I got like five or six machine tickets through some government funded course. Um, so yeah, it was like all free. It took me like six weeks on six weeks, en six week ends. Um, but I walked away from it being able to operate excavators, skid steers, um, front end loader, dozer, a roller, and a backer um, is the other one. Excavator is the main one, and I don't really think you need a ticket, but if you've got it, it's really fucking handy. Um, just a useful machine to know how to use. Um, number three would be being able to reverse a trailer. It sounds basic, it is basic. A lot of carpenters know how to, um, mostly because we use tool trailers, but in the event that you don't, I would really suggest trying to find a way to get some practice and learn how to back a trailer. Um, I actually bought a trailer before I knew how to back one. So for like the first few weeks before one of my dad's mates taught me, it was just like straight lines everywhere. Um, not a good way to do it but it was kind of for me it was like unless I actually just bit the board and got a trail I was probably not going to learn how um fourth skill would be how to trail mud um, when I say trail mud more just like the extremely basic skill of like flattening concrete and then pushing plaster on just a tiny amount of trowel work if you can kind of start to feel the angle your trowels are meant to be on how much mud to have on your blade that kind of thing um, is really beneficial especially if you're doing like we were saying yesterday caches and stuff like that um, if all you've got to do is like patch a hole in the wall probably not worth calling a plaster in for um, that's where being able to sort of just patch it up yourself even if it means you've got to do a fuckload of sanding um, it's pretty worthwhile. Um, on from that would be how to run a chainsaw. It's probably not so much like the chainsaw operation itself, more just like being able to see when your saw is going to jam up. Um, I use a chainsaw a fair bit, probably more than I should, um, but it's yeah, it's definitely a good skill to have, and I think it's made me a better carpenter because now I'll. If I get a pack of eye joists or something like that, like I'll just gang cut them with a chainsaw. <clears throat> um, and it saves me a lot of time. Um, as well as like if you actually want to do woodworking and stuff like that with like actual timber. Um, 
obviously chainsaw really handy um, so yeah try and get yourself a bit of an experience on one of those as well uh, this is like part two it's kind of like the brainier skills um, they're not gonna these mostly aren't gonna make or break you as a carpenter um, but in my opinion if you can get some of these things down just like your whole business side mostly client relations stuff um, will go a lot easier number one would be taking a decent photo and editing it <clears throat> I'll do a screen share like it's not hard obviously take a photo really anyone can do that um, and then there's a few things in your phone you can do just to play around with the colors and that and make it look really good um, it doesn't take much to learn and if you're doing like the Instagram thing it'll yeah make your feed look cool um, my second one would be building a basic website I see a lot of guys do it and it's not a bad idea but I wouldn't pay anyone to build like a carpenter's website. You're probably only gonna have two or three pages on it max. Um, and if you're kind of a bit cluey, watch a YouTube video on it, go on a um, site like Squarespace or something like that. It's really easy. You can do yourself a landing page with a few photos. You can say what you do and then you can just do a contact me button. Um, and that's kind of all you need. If you want to go a little bit on from that, set yourself up on Google My Business. So that way someone in your area searches Carpenter near me um, and you'll come up. Useful. And that kind of ties into photo editing as well. Obviously, the nicer your photos look, the nicer your website's going to look as well. Um, and those like photo editing, take a photo, edit and build a website. Like watch a YouTube video on it more de detailed than this one. Um, really easy to do now um, moving on from that this is probably out of this entire list the one i'm worst at is how to draw and sketch um, i would fucking love to be able to like sketch well enough to actually like as a client's talking to me draw kind of what i think they want and show it to them um, i've tried to teach myself a few times and i'm not giving up but if yeah i reckon that'd be such a handy skill to have um, even for like you as like if you're a team leader or something like that being able to just draw a quick detail um, and show the blokes working for you what you want I reckon that would just be like the coolest fucking thing um, number four kind of you're probably expecting it would be basic as fuck accounting just knowing what's a business expense what's not um, how invoicing works what to include on an invoice making sure you mentioned like the building and payments act so your invoice is actually valid and if you're not paid there's like legal channels you can go through um and then the other thing too is like you pay your accountant a fair bit of money um obviously they're going to have to explain you certain things but if you can do a little bit of research yourself it means if your account if you're paying your accountant by the hour um he's not spending 20 minutes explaining basic concepts of like profit and margin and markup and that kind of stuff too just useful um number five number 10 out of all of them would be to sell i don't mean like fucking sell me this pen wolf of all street type shit if you're good face to face that obviously helps and i think it can be taught um i more mean like how you sell yourself how do you show up like looking to work? Do you show up in boardies and thongs and then change when you get there? Do you fucking like, do you show up covered in silicon? Are you there on time? Just that type of shit. I think it's a skill. Um, skills can be practiced. Like if you're not that good at getting there early, something you can practice and work on and you'll find that it is actually possible. Um, yeah, and kind of, not being like a car salesman, but knowing how to present yourself is kind of what I'd call selling. Um, and I definitely think it's a skill worth knowing. Um, that's kind of it for this one. So day eight of 10, so I've got two more to go. It's definitely getting harder. Um, I think this one will be all right. I'll mix in some like footage over the top of actually doing some of the things I'm talking about. It should make it a fair bit more interesting to watch. 
um, other than just me talking. Uh, I'm really trying to avoid just sitting here talking, but because we're in lockdown, it's the best we got. So hopefully by the time I edit this one up, it actually looks good. And then you like, comment, subscribe, and come back and watch tomorrow's. Cheers, guys.